The fastest way to learn how to code isn't blindly running through tutorials. It's not spending hours upon hours reading through documentation. It's not through watching YouTube videos. It's not trying to memorize every function, syntax, package that's available. What's up you guys, my name's Clint and I'm a self-taught developer. I've never worked at Amazon. I've never worked at Google. I've never worked at Meta, Facebook. In fact, I suck at live algorithmic coding assessments, but I did manage to switch careers from a firefighter to a web developer. And I did all of this without obtaining a computer science degree and I've never attended a coding boot camp. I'm certainly not opposed to a boot camp or a CS degree. It just didn't fit my personal situation at the time. I have a family and I was working a full-time job. So I just flat out didn't have the extra time to devote to a formal education in the form of a computer science degree or a boot camp. If you are interested in switching careers or you just starting out in web development, I'd like to share with you how I was able to do this and maybe you can take something away from it. And first off, there is no learn how to code in three months or it takes six months to learn how to code there's not some imaginary threshold that you cross over from not knowing how to code then all of a sudden you magically know how to code this is a gradual process that happens over time and what will play a big role in how long it takes for you to grasp coding concepts will largely be dependent upon how much focused time you can devote to learning and coding and of course your innate ability to decipher understand and retain information what is focused time? I'm talking about hours spent in front of your computer with your code editor open, writing and practicing code, not having YouTube open off to the side, unless you're learning a concept, of course, but not having your phone sitting out on your desk because we know as soon as it lights up or makes a sound, you're gonna start checking your messages. And then after you reply to a quick text message, you're gonna open up Instagram or Snapchat. The next thing you notice, you've wasted 30 minutes scrolling through social media. What will serve you the most and be the biggest contributing factor to your success is the amount of uninterrupted focus time you can devote to coding. I consider myself very much so an average student of learning. I'm certainly not a prodigy when it comes to learning and coding, but I am persistent and I have drive. Also having a family and a full-time job with bills and responsibilities, I did not have the luxury of coding six to eight hours per day. If I did, I likely would have been able to start earning an income a lot sooner than I did. So whether you have eight hours a day, or eight hours a week to devote to coding, this is how I would learn if I could start over from scratch. And to be honest, I probably wouldn't change that much from my own journey and what I actually did. I started building small projects and then just expanded upon them. It's really quite simple. In the context of web development, for example, I learned the basics, HTML, CSS, plenty of free resources out there, but if you wanna take a shortcut through all of the BS that's out there and have a more guided curriculum, then I'd recommend something like Zero to Mastery. I dropped a couple links in the description below. They have ton of different courses from web development, game development, c .net, SQL, Unity, React, so many courses. It is an affiliate link, so if you click on it, I do get a small commission, but the two I'd focus on since I'm partial to web development are the complete web development course and the master React course. These two courses will give you a firm understanding of web development. And by the end of these courses, you'll be able to build some fairly complex projects. However, you should never rely on these courses or tutorials to be your golden ticket to learning how to code. After taking one of these courses, I'm not sure you can confidently say, I'm now a web developer, but it'll give you the confidence to tackle some larger projects or at least some medium sized projects. So say you've completed a web development course, you've built a few projects, some tutorials, you'll likely have some sort of false confidence at this point, because whenever you go to build a larger project, you'll probably get stuck and not really know where to begin. This is a bad feeling, I know it. It's okay to keep it small at this point. You've built out a few projects inside of the course. Start building a project on your own outside of the course. You should be able to use the concept you've learned inside of the course and, and feel free to to reference the code that you wrote from the course when you're building your own new project. That is perfectly acceptable. It's perfectly fine. It's okay. This small project can be something simple. Build out a few landing pages. You can have some image galleries, context form. You'll have some decent understanding of Flexbox, of Grid at this point. You should know how to submit a form and use a little JavaScript to toggle a mobile responsive nav bar, for example. So we're building our first real project by ourselves now, right? Maybe we'll build a weather app and 
React, that's a good beginner project. And if you followed the React course in Zero to Mastery, for example, you should have a little understanding about what to do, or at least how to get started. You should have some sort of game plan. So first we'll find some sort of API or data point we can use to collect weather data. I've done a couple videos in the past using the Open Weather Map API, which is a pretty fun and easy to use API. So first step, we'll create our React application. Okay, done, easy. Next, we'll use the use effect hook and Axios to make an API call and then store this response in some local state, for example. Of course, you'll probably want to have an input element so users can enter in a zip code or a city or whatever. But before you know it, you've actually built a little web app that you built. Now, how can we build upon this project? How can we beef it up and learn more, expand upon it? We could add features such as authentication or a database to save weather data at any given time. This may not have much practical use, but it will teach you many more intermediate to advanced React concepts. This is why simple to-do apps are so popular. They teach you the basic CRUD coding principles, and that's why we create these little projects, isn't it? To ultimately build upon or build our big dream project or business, right? or get hired writing code professionally. Learning hands-on and actually writing the code yourself on your own project that you're interested in will always be the best way to learn, especially when you have to research how to do certain things on your own. This will be any type of course or tutorial video. Of course, it's okay to reference a course to learn how to add certain features. That's just part of learning how to code and building projects and using different tech stacks. Uh, but let me be clear, I'm not against courses. In fact, I highly recommend a paid course if you can afford it, if it's within your means. But what I am against is, you know, following course after course, course hopping, if you will, thinking the next course you take will make you a developer or get you hired. I know the feeling, trust me. So now you've built a weather app that you can retrieve weather data based on the user's input, which is passed into the query. We've placed this behind a user login feature. So now you have learned some basic authentication principles. Maybe you've used something like Firebase for user authentication, for example. You've also learned about CRUD functionalities, the create, read, update, delete, if you've added the ability for users to take snapshots of the weather data, pun intended if you're familiar with Firebase. Building projects like this and seeing it all come together is really what helped me learn and retain the most information. This concept is how I learned how to code and how I would advise others to learn as well. So pick up some basic courses to give you a structured curriculum to follow. Then literally just start building small projects and incorporate things you learn as you go along, even if it's something like adding user authentication to your weather app. All right, you guys, that's all for this one. Thanks for watching. Smash the like button and I'll see you on the next one.